Hello and welcome to today's video. I hope you are well and having a great day. My name is Cam Ward and today I want to talk about the best camera for vlogging. So there are many, many cameras out there to vlog on and lately it's been a massive trend to start vlogging. But let's get straight into what I think is the best vlogging camera of 2017 I suppose. Most people go for Canon 70D which is made popular by Casey Neistat, the Sony RX100 series or the Canon G7X. Now they're some of the most popular um, vlogging cameras out there at the moment and some of the highest quality ones. But what you need to know for yourself is if you want to start vlogging, how much money do you want to spend and the more money you spend the better quality you're going to get obviously. But if you've got a budget of about 800 to 1000 pounds and you want to go for a Canon 70D then I'd recommend doing that but only if you're going to use it for other things maybe such as a bit of photography or you're going to be shooting some other video on it. Carrying the Canon 70D around with you to vlog on it can be quite difficult so my alternative to that would be the Sony RX100 Mark V. Now this is quite an expensive camera just to vlog on. I've not actually used it myself. It's a compact camera, so you can just keep it, you know, um, in your pocket and stuff like that, travel around with it, which is really cool. And the autofocus has been improved over the RX100 Mark IV. Direct competitor to the Sony RX100 series is the Canon G7X line. Now, most vloggers use the Canon G7X as their secondary vlogging camera. This is due to its very fast autofocus speed. Again, I've not used either of these two cameras, but I have done a lot of research on them. Personally, I would go for the RX100 Mark V out of all these cameras, but that's simply because I already have a Sony A7S Mark II and a Canon 6D to shoot professional work on. The reason I'd go for the Sony RX100 line is because it's got S-Log2, which allows you to shoot a very flat picture, and this means you can apply like color grades and stuff on it. It gives you more flexibility in pose to kind of get like a stylized look out of your vlog. So the vlog camera I use the most is this, the iPhone 7 Plus. It's quite a big phone, but to be honest, if you, you've always got it with you. Like in terms of usability, you've always got it. Um, it's got the front facing screen on it so you can look at yourself, which is good yourself. I don't really know how that sentence was going. Yeah. I'm constantly surprised, especially with the images as well. If you check out portrait mode, here are some stills I've taken. But the cameras on phones are getting better and better. Now, obviously the image quality out of an iPhone isn't going to be the same as the RX100 or the G7X line, and it's definitely not going to compete with the Canon 70D. Now, you may be saying, yes, but the iPhone 7 Plus is very expensive. But you're also getting a phone, Netflix, YouTube, whatever media device, whatever you want to use it for. Not only that, but you're always going to have your phone with you. It's also obviously not very convenient to be carrying a kind of 70D around with you all day. The main issue with smartphones obviously though is that it's going to drain your battery. Storage is always pretty limited, especially on Apple devices. But yeah, that's just kind of my thoughts on vlogging cameras and stuff like that. There are so many options out there right now and what you really need to decide is image quality if you really want to get the best then obviously go for the Canon 70D. Now I know a lot of people have been switching over to the Sony cameras to vlog on and I just don't think they're that great for vlogging on. There's no flip out screen and the autofocus can be a bit hit or miss. I'd also check out some of Philip Bloom's videos where he tests the autofocus on various different cameras um, and if you want to see more videos like this then hit that like button, drop me a comment below, let's talk and I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.